over 5,000 cyclists and 750 pregnant buses a day. The color is pine green. Overall, the first one is like. And now we're in the official downtown area, coming up on the Morrison Bridge. This is the third bridge, both cross the at this point. It's called the Morrison. This is the best one yet. Double East Bascule Bridge. Each Bascule weighs 920 tons, which makes it one of the lightest bridges of its type because it's unpaved. The Bascule pits are 40 feet deep, located in the bridge piers, and they house the electro-hydraulic machinery, which will raise the bridge completely in four minutes from a limited height. Built between 1956 and 1958, right in the middle of the jet age, when we're using these control towers to look at home at any airport. The abutments are shaped like the prows of ships to keep the debris from piling up against the bridge piers. And the metal flashing was installed back in the flood in 86. Whole trees were crashing through the boards and had to protect them. So they probably gives you a hint on how high the river actually was. If you have a fear of bridges, that disease is called a jephophobia. In Portland would be a very frustrating place to live. Steamer Portland on the fourth down. Okay. Uh, the Portal Chapel, the Old American Museum. She was a tough boat. She was in the late 1940s. Probably out in the South End, probably out in the Bethany. She commissioned in the early 1970s. Still able to get underway in her own power. You ever saw the movie Maverick with no Mitch and Joe Foster James Garner? You saw the Steamer Portland and Hollywood Makeup. She could carry the Warren Bell in that film. And all she needed in the afterward was uh, return to her spot right here. And off the port bound, this is called Ankeny Dock. Every